First, measure out approximately 10 centimeters of wire, weigh it, and record this weight prior to fusing your sample. Obtain your sample. Do not weigh it. Place it on the tabletop. Connect the gator clips to each end of the wire. Stretch the wire across the top of the sample and have your lab partner turn up the current until the wire fuses. You will see the wire start to melt into the sample. Once done, turn off the current. Give a small shake to assure the sample is securely fused. Now weigh your combined sample and wire and record this weight. Place each end of the wire through the small holes in the leads. Wrap the wire loosely in a downward spiral fashion. Repeat on the other side. Pull down the covers of the leads. and mount inside of a clean bomb. Making sure the threads are aligned on the bomb lid and container, completely tighten the bomb lid. Have your instructor check the tightness of your seal before proceeding to the next step. Open the vent to the bomb and attach the correct oxygen hose corresponding to your calorimeter lid. Slowly turn on the oxygen and allow the nitrogen to bleed out for a few seconds. Close the vent and fill to 25 atmospheres. Do not fill past 30 atmospheres.
turn off the oxygen and disconnect from the bomb. Notice that inside of the jacket, there are three protrusions that match the three indentations in the bottom of the calorimeter pail. Make sure that these are lined up for stability. Before moving on, Make sure the igniter is not plugged in. Place the bomb inside of the calorimeter pail and attach the ignition connection to the top of the bomb. Fill the inside of the pail with two liters of water. Place the lid on the doer. Now attach the gasket to the stirrer and place the temperature probe in the hole in the lid. Turn on the stirrer motor. Allow the current temperature of the water to stabilize for two to three minutes. With the igniter still unplugged, attach the wires to the appropriate terminals. Now, plug in the igniter
and ignite the system by pressing the ignition button for no longer than five seconds. The red light should turn on and then go off, signaling that it has ignited. After the temperature rises, let the final temperature stabilize for two to three minutes. Make sure to unplug the igniter and disconnect the wires before moving forward. Remove the gasket and the lid from the system. Remove the wires connected to the bomb and then move the bomb from the calorimeter pail. Pull out the inside component of the bomb and notice that the sample and part of the wire are not to be seen, having been combusted into carbon dioxide and water.